My long-awaited book, Astrology Realized, is finally available and waiting for you at Amazon and other online retailers. Get one for you, your loved one, or as a gift. All part of your fabulous journey to understanding astrology. Enjoy. Hello, fabulous friends and fans. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of October 6, 2013. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. This week has reality check written all over it. So that doesn't have to be a bad thing. It really depends on whether you have been in a place that is delusional or fantastical or hopeful, right? So that's a huge spectrum to deal with. If you have been a place that is largely hopeful but still grounded, you will like this week because this week will help you to refine your course so that you can continue to actualize some of your dreams. But wherever it is that we have been really kidding ourselves, maybe not seeing the actual truth, we are going to get a reality check. But I do think that this week is one of those situations where the truth really does set us free, powerfully so, and does empower us as well. So the week starts off with a really nice conversation between Mercury and Pluto and Venus moving into the sign of Sag as well. So all of this bodes really well for being empowered. And then we get to a couple of conversations between Venus and Neptune and the Sun and Jupiter, which suggest, and also Mercury meeting Saturn in the sky, which does suggest that we really have to look at where maybe we've been kidding ourselves, maybe we've been seeing what it is that we hoped, maybe what we liked. And this is so valuable and this is so great because by admitting what really is, we can, regardless of how far off we've gone from reality, we can now use that information to refine our course, to move us towards a more inspiring direction, to move us in a direction of actualizing our dreams. So for some of us, we're already further along that path, in which case this week is going to just flow by and not be too, too big a deal. For those of us who've been living in a fantasy, really, really in a fantasy, to see. Um, the reality checks that come may feel a little surprising, but they are actually really, really great and are meant to empower us, meant to help us all think a lot clearer about where it is that we want to go and what changes we need to make to actually live some of those wonderful, wonderful concepts and ideas that come. How this speaks to you and your sign is coming up right now. So for Aries, I do think that this week suggests a, a really strong desire to get out there and to have a sense of adventure where it comes to love, where it comes to just enjoying your life. And this is where you of all signs, I think, are going to have to watch not overdoing it too much. Okay, so I say it in quotation marks. Um, trying not to overdo it is really going to be the strength that you will find this week if you can cultivate that. But also I do see, as I said, reality checks with love all around for all of us. Uh, for you, this is especially true, especially where you'll find that the vision that you have for love is far off from the fantasy. But I'm seeing you really empowered by the information as well. And I see that you really like the reality that does come forward. Taurus out there are going to find that their money is asking for their attention, that they're looking at money a little bit more closely. They're looking at how they share money and where maybe some money is going, okay, that doesn't need to go in that way or is going in ways that are not totally responsible. Now, I'm not seeing this necessarily as a matter of somebody's fault or not. This could be something as simple as, you know, you're paying a really high interest rate on your credit card and that's a lot of money going that maybe you don't always fully appreciate. It could also be a misunderstanding between you and somebody else whom, with whom you're sharing finances. But regardless, it does look like there does need to be an honest examination. And with that, a much more solid plan really sets into place that allows you to move forward towards a more solid financial future. And if I can just step ahead a little bit here, if you can get this week right, you are going to find that next week you're able to really put your ducks in a row, as they say, and, um, and really increase the amount of money that comes to you and help yourself tremendously financially. So use this time well. 
for Geminis out there. I do think that overall this looks like an enjoyable week, certainly, but it does look like where it comes to love, where it comes to a partner specifically, you are having to look at where maybe things are going a lot slower than you wish, where maybe you have jumped the gun and made choices and made decisions without fully appreciating the full reality of the situation. And where maybe, in all honesty, you may have to look at where you're disappointed. Now, I do think for a large chunk of you, this is going to be a disappointment that is largely self-created. So what that means is maybe you saw somebody based on the potential that was there instead of really looking at who they are. Maybe you thought, wow, I could really help this person so much. But really, that might have been a little bit arrogant instead of being able to say, okay, this is who you are and I accept you in this moment as you are. And so this is the readjustment that is going to be taking place and you're going to decide whether it works for you or not. But it does look like the realities that come forward for you now are those that not only empower you, but also help you to really look at how it is that you are going to go forward with your joint goals in your relationship. And it does look like there are some adjustments to be made, but that ultimately the adjustments do bring you closer to the one that you care about most. For some of you, this works out in a partnership. For others, this is more about the concept of love where you're looking at your dream of love. And again, root that dream because that dream is absolutely achievable, but there are other layers to the dream that make it even better because it's more grounded in reality as you're going to get some lessons in this week. For cancers out there, you are going to find that this week really draws your attention to your own self, especially how you are caring for yourself. And if your actions are demonstrating a sense of self-care, a sense of self-respect, a sense of self-worth, this does look like, now for some of you, I'm going to be honest, for some of you, you may have a little bit of confusing feedback where it comes to your health. Maybe you don't exactly know what it is that you're supposed to do next to help yourself most. Um, regardless of what comes up, I am going to advise you to not take anything too um, seriously, okay? Try not to really commit to any solid plans to the best of your ability. And this is about health plans and also about diagnoses as well, because it does look like second opinions may end up being actually a lot a lot better and make you a lot happier a little bit further down the road. So whatever it is that comes up now, just take it with a grain of salt. Do your best to care for you. And whether that's in a context of a relationship or whether that's with you, just solo in the way that you are living your life, it does look like a lot of refinements need to happen and you take leaps forward in that process. For Leos out there, I do think that this is going to be a fun week. You are also one of the signs who's likely to overdo it this week, but it does look like, gosh, you believe in a dream, you know, and nobody can tell you anything different. And it looks like there are people who are trying to tell you something different. There are people in your life who are saying, hey, can you really afford this? Hey, look at the actual investment this is going to take. Look at how much money you're having to put forward. Look how much resources, how much of your time how much of your energy this is going to take, and yet you are smitten. So whether that is smitten by an idea and you believe that you have, you're on a lucky streak and you're going to go for it, or whether that's smitten by a person where you feel really infatuated or you feel like you're really in a zone of feeling a lot of love and pleasure and joy. Um, regardless, it looks like you are committed to the path that you want to be on and no one can tell you any different. So I'm just going to trust that that's where your lessons are. And that's why you need to walk that. But as much as you can be balanced now, okay, as much as you can take what other people say, sometimes what they say is going to miss the mark. But if there's any grain in it that causes you to reflect so that you can ground yourself in greater honesty, that will benefit you most for Virgos out there, I do think that this week does promise you a sense of love from family, love from home, a sense that everything's going to be all right, a sense of greater comfort, okay? That doesn't mean things are ideal, especially where it comes to the home space. Now, for some of you, literally, this could manifest in terms of, in all honesty, um, issues with water I'm seeing coming up as a possibility. But of course, water is also a metaphor for, for emotion. And so it does look like on the home front, there's a flood of emotion coming up. 
And so it's really up to you. The ancients have said, or at least um, some of the great godfathers of our practice in astrology have said, that if you resolve things on an energetic level, they don't need to manifest literally. And I'm thinking specifically of Alan Leo here, one of the, the really great um, godfathers of our practice. And so when I look at the sky for you, I see a lot of emotion coming forward, okay? I see a lot of really heartfelt moments. Um, I'm seeing moments where you're appreciating just how loved you have been, how loved you are, particularly on the home front, particularly on the level of family, of your parents. Um, however, at the same time, if you are not fully acknowledging all the, the depth and breadth of your feelings, then if any issues do come up, which might for just a small percentage of you, but if these, this energy needs to manifest literally, then you just go with the flow and understand that it's a part of change because ultimately this energy of emotion, this wellspring, this water that is coming in, um, is about clearing out and really clearing out any blocks that have been there between you and really understanding just how loved you really are. So you're taking steps forward in the process of understanding that really you are more loved than you have realized before and much more supported than you've realized before. And the changes that are happening now are actually really good. For Libras out there, I do think this week promises a lot of fun, a lot of spontaneous fun, especially a lot of quick action. When I think about how just last week you had this really important new moon in your sign, I think now you're going to get this jolt of joy. Now fresh energy is really going to start to come in where you understand that no matter whether what happened manifested in a way that felt positive in the moment or not, because it could have gone either way for Libras out there, I do think that this week is set to start a really nice phase for a lot of you out there, a phase where you're grateful for the changes, the gratitude starts to really set in. Now, I do think that at the beginning, some people are going to be like, oh, wow, how could you be grateful for that? That makes no sense. And you may be even accused of not seeing the whole picture. But having said that, I think that you are actually looking at things in a measured way. Um, it is your sign, it is your characteristic to examine things in a measured way, and I think that you are doing that. But really now you're going to start to get, whether it's beginner's luck as a result of the changes that you've made, or whether it's just an affirmation from the universe, you are going to start to see that. Other people may think that you're just seeing things that aren't there, but it really doesn't matter. If it's meaningful for you, if it is an affirmation for you, well then it is an affirmation, and that's all that you need to know. And really just interact with your neighbors, interact as you go about your business, as you go about your day. And I think that um, there's actually set to be a lot of fun for you, a lot of overconfidence for you as well, some moments that evoke overconfidence. But um, I think that you're actually going to enjoy it immensely. Scorpios, I do think that this week is an important one for you with finances. Yes, there are reality checks with finances, but more than that, I really want you to watch also like where is your money going, okay? Because it does look like for you as well, it, it, it's almost as if money could either wash in or wash out. And it could be a situation where you find yourself um, spending a lot of money on something that isn't tangible, that isn't solid. And so in order to prevent that, what you do is you want to think about ways to spiritualize your money and you want to think about ways of affirming how blessed you are. Because if you can do that, if you can adjust your energy in that way, then you'll resolve any fears of, of things sort of flowing in and out, especially out. Um, but more than that, you are likely to see gains as a result. But first, it does involve a reality change. Check. And not only that, it does involve you having to um, look at where maybe you've been spending uh, in a way that is not serving you um, and in a way that has outworn its usefulness to you as well. And so whatever um, energy needs to go, let it go. Energy will be returned. And if there was ever a week for you to practice something like the law of attraction, which I think is something that Scorpios in general can be really, really good at, can really excel at. If there ever was a week to do that, this would be it, to really do the work to understand um, the concept of aligning yourself with an energy of prosperity um, and at the same time honoring where you are right now and just practicing a lot of gratitude. I think it would be something that really you get instant benefit from. 
For Sages out there, Venus is moving into your sign and Venus is speaking with Neptune. And this does, does suggest that the reality check really hits close to the heart, hits close to home. The reality check that comes is really about love in one respect. It's also about you looking at what you've attracted into your life and looking at where maybe you haven't allowed yourself to receive what is actually good for you. I think about how, um, you know, I know I've mentioned it before in the monthly horoscopes over time because it was just a reading that meant so much to me and it was actually uh, way back in the day philosophy of love class that I took in university and um, St. Augustine who said that we've associated these feelings of passion and really eros with love but love can be whatever we want it to be we can train ourselves to associate desire with attributes like honesty and loyalty and faithfulness. Really, it just takes practice and we can do that. We can retrain ourselves. And there are a lot of things astrologically that speak to this retraining as well. Well, you're getting a big crash course in just this, this week. And so it is about you looking at what you believe you deserve in love, what you've attracted, where you need to adjust yourself, where maybe what you didn't think was love actually is, where maybe what you thought was really wasn't. Um, regardless of how this manifests for you, whether within a specific partnership or whether with you really reflecting on what has been or more than that, you know, Venus moving through your sign, you are attractive, you are more charming. And I do think that you are going to be attracting at the very least attention. What you do with that attention is up to you. But these really are the lessons for you right now to really consider what love has been and what it is that you want it to be and to own your power to have the type of love that you know that you deserve in your heart. For Capricorns out there, I do think that there's a very meditative quality now. It does look like any love activities that happen start off very quietly, very subtly. Now, I do want you to watch because it does look like there's the possibility of reading a lot more into something than is actually there. And so what you really want to do is just promise yourself right now that you're not going to sign up for any fantasy relationships, that you're just not going to go there and just surrender the rest. Focus on where you feel strong, what feels right to you. Focus on faith and spirit, knowing that love is in the world for you, knowing that love is all around you and consider where it is, all the different ways in which love is around you. And instead of really, because it's just so alluring is what I'm seeing. It's so alluring. There's this fantasy relationship just in the wings and you want it to be more. And it's so easy to go into that, that whole mind space, especially this week, but really it could end up being very draining and unnecessarily so. So just be grateful for what you have right now. And you are going to find that you attract a lot of experiences that are like, um, I'm reminded of a Mary J. Blige song, um, Reminisce reminisce on the love we had. You remind me of a love that I once knew. It's that type of thing, those types of moments that can remind you. But ultimately, this is about you being honest with yourself about where you've been. Because in just a few weeks time, you're preparing for a very fresh new chapter in love that should just delight you to no end. So do the work now, prepare yourself well. For Aquarians out there, this is a week where you really want to watch your friendships, okay? And it does look like for some of you at least, you're looking at a friend and hoping it could be more, but it may not be uh, what it is that you think it is. Um, it also looks like you just have a lot of hope. You really believe in the dream. You have hope and love. You have a wish where it comes to love. And you're going to be shown where it is that your beliefs, your values have led led you to and your sense of self-worth have led you to where you are right now. Now, this is, I, I do think in all honesty, <laughs> this is a time when it's this whole idea of just really being brought back to reality in a way that just surprises you. But I think in a way it's also going to delight you a lot as well. But you are going to be brought to reality. You are going to be asked to look at things from a more measured um, perspective, especially to look at where the line between friends and lovers has blurred in the past or where you may have gotten some love advice from friends that maybe was a bit off the mark. But regardless, this week does take you leaps ahead in understanding what it means to actually align yourself with a love that is true and to partner with somebody who is really on par with you. This week takes you leaps ahead in understanding where 
you need to acknowledge a lot more of your strengths in order to attract the type of people who can actually match that. Because it does look like in some way you're on a completely different level um, than someone else that maybe you were smitten with, or it does look like um, that there is a very strong possibility that you were um, really hoping for something to match the wish but it just wasn't meant to. And a little bit further on down the road, once we get you a few weeks into this month, you are actually going to be really, really grateful for all that transpires this week and for the reality checks that you get right now. You're going to be really, really grateful as you prepare to know a greater love and a stronger move really leaps forward in the direction of those wishes and those hopes and those dreams that you have for love and for partnership. Finally, Pisces. So Neptune, your modern ruler in your sign is speaking with Venus. Jupiter, is, your ancient ruler, is speaking with the sun. And so for you, really, I do think that if ever there was a reality check, this is it. But more than that, what I think that this week is indicating for you most strongly has to do with looking at your directions, really. Looking at how high you want to go, looking at where you are right now. And I'm literally seeing you having to weigh where you are with where you want to go and looking at where maybe you've actually been walking a path that's taking you in a totally different direction. Now, this can reach just about any area of your life, but I do think that um, for many of you, this is going to be very career-related. Um, for many of you, you're really examining your life and the way that you live and if you're happy about it. Some of you even are looking at finances also, where maybe you have not prioritized yourself enough and prioritized your future enough. It's almost as if for a lot of you, and, and I understand this, but it's, it's easy to get caught up in the moment. It's easy to get caught up in what the moment requires and not think about your future and investing in your future, investing in the dream. Well, that's what gets an adjustment now. And you're really going to have to ask yourself, do you believe that you can achieve those great things that you hope for? And if you believe it, are you willing to invest in it, whether it's with five minutes of your time every day? This is a time when you get serious about where it is that you have been going, where it is that you want to go, and where you need to make adjustments and what it is going to require to get you to a better place in your life. I often say one of the most special things about being a human being is that we can work on our own behalf to improve our circumstances. And this conviction sets in for you this week. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I am so grateful for this time and this moment with you. For so much more, visit my website, nadiashah.com. It'll be a great week. Enjoy. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.